After World War II, the U.S. Navy's superlative experience with aircraft carriers ultimately pointed the way to the future. But some planners envisioned a need for Navy fighters that could use unorthodox basing if carriers were unavailable. Convair obliged by designing both the F-2Y Sea Dart Delta Wing Jet Seaplane and the radical FY-1 vertical takeoff turboprop seen here, nicknamed Pogo. The rare sound footage captures the first free flight of the XFY on 1 August 1954. Convair engineering test pilot James Coleman made the takeoffs and landings. Takeoff was easier to accomplish than vertical landing, with the pilot needing to look back over his shoulder as the cruciform prop jet neared the ground. Before this historic flight at Moffett Field, California, the Pogo made tethered hops in a huge dirigible hangar there to verify that it could be done, while affording a safety measure for stopping unwanted aircraft movement with an attached safety cable as needed. The XFY-1 was powered by an Allison T-40 turboprop engine turning a contra-rotating propeller. The aircraft's speed was subsonic at best. The Pogo exemplifies the out-of-the-box thinking of the early Cold War era, Ultimately, traditional aircraft carriers with ever more potent jet fighters and bombers prevailed for the Navy. The pilot on this historic first flight of a vertical takeoff airplane was J.F. Skeets Coleman, Convair Engineering Test Pilot and Marine Reserve Officer. How did it go, Skeets? Went swell, Dick. It was uh, just the way we expected it. Of course, we didn't try to do too much, but everything went along fine. Well, you've flown hel helicopters and nearly every fighter the Marines have. How does the XFY-1 handle in comparison with other aircraft? Oh, I think it's going to be... Uh, 100% better. It's going to respond faster and uh, with more precision. Is it as maneuverable as a helicopter close to the ground? 
Well, of course, we haven't investigated too far yet, but I think it's going to be much more maneuverable. What do you think the future of the aircraft is? Unlimited. That's fine. <laughs> I noticed that the operation was pr pretty much just straight up and straight down. Do you think you could have done more today? Well, we could have done a lot more. It, uh, the airplane was responding beautifully and just like we expected, but today we wanted to do just that, up and down. You did. I'm Fred Johnson and you are watching the Aerial Images channel. Thanks for that and thanks especially for subscribing. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm.